Good day learners and welcome to another lesson in Life and Works of Rizal. In Sunny Spain 1882 to 1885, after finishing the fourth year of medical course in the University of Santo Tomas, Rizal decided to complete his studies in Spain. At that time, the government of Spain was a constitutional monarchy under a written constitution which granted human rights to the people, particularly freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and freedom of assembly. Now learners, let me ask you this question. Do you think Rizal had other reasons why he left the country? You can pause this video and then write your answer in the comment section. Aside from this ostensible reason, he had another reason, which was more important than merely completing his studies in Spain. This was his secret mission, which many Rizalist biographers never mention in their writings. Ang nasabing mission ay ang matagal nang napagkasunduan sa pagitan ng kanyang kapatid na si Pasiano. Nakasaad ang kanyang sekretong misyon mula sa liham na naipadala niya sa kanyang mga magulang matapos dumating ng Espanya. Rizal's secret mission is to observe keenly the life and culture, language and customs, industries and commerce, government and laws of the European nations. Nakapaloob din sa liham ang paghingi niya ng tawad sa pag-alis ng Pilipinas nang walang pahintulot ng kanyang mga magulang at paghingi din ng basbas bagamat nakaalis na. Secret Departure for Spain Rizal's departure for Spain was kept secret to avoid detection by the Spanish authorities and the friars. The kind Jesuit priests gave him letters of recommendation to the members of the society in Barcelona. On May 3, 1882, Rizal departed on board the Spanish steamer Salvadora bound for Singapore. Tanging piling mga kaibigan, mga kapatid at ilang guro sa Ateneo ang nakaalam ng pag-alis ng isang ng bansa. With tears in his eyes and glooming in his heart, he gazed at the receding skyline of Manila. Singapore During the voyage to Singapore, he carefully observed the people and things on board the steamer. There were 16 passengers on board including himself, 6 ladies, many children, and the rest are gentlemen. He was the only Filipino and the rest were Spaniards, British, and Indian Negroes. He spent two days on sightseeing of the city which was before a colony of England. On May 8, 1882, he saw a beautiful island where he remembered Talim Island. The following day, May 9, Rizal landed and registered at Hotel de la Paz. From there, he saw the famous botanical garden, the beautiful Buddhist temples, the busy shopping district, and the statue of Sir Thomas Stanford Raffles, who is the founder of Singapore. From Singapore to Colombo In Singapore, Rizal transferred to another ship, Gemna, a French steamer, which left Singapore for Europe on May 11. On May 17, the Gemna reached Point Gile, a seacoast town in southern Ceylon. After a few hours of sailing, she reached this city on the same day. First trip through Suez Canal. For the first time, Rizal sighted the barren coast of Africa, which she called an inhospitable land but famous. At the next stopover in Aden, Rizal went ashore to see the sights. He found there the city hotter than Manila and amused to see camels for the first time. It took the Gemna five days to traverse the Suez Canal. From there, he was fascinated to hear the multiracial inhabitants speaking a babel of tongues, Arabic, Egyptian, Greek, French, Italian, Spanish, etc. Naples and Marseilles. On June 11, Rizal reached Naples. This Italian city pleased him because of its business activity, its lively people, and its panoramic beauty. He was fascinated by the historic site of the city. 
On the night, June 12, the steamer docked at the French harbor of Marseilles. After saying goodbye to his fellow passengers, he visited the famous chateau where Dantes, hero of Monte Cristo, was imprisoned. He stayed two and a half days in Marseilles. Barcelona On the afternoon of June 15, Rizal left Marseilles by train for the last lap of his trip to Spain. After the passport inspection at Port Bou, Rizal continued his trip by rail, finally reaching his destination, Barcelona on June 16, 1882. Actually, learners, Rizal's first imp impression of Barcelona was unfavorable. He thought that it was ugly, with dirty little inns and inhospitable residents, because he happened to stay upon his arrival at the Dini Inn, which is known as town's most ugly site. From there, he changed his bad impression and came to like the city. He found it to be a really great city with an atmosphere of freedom and liberalism. Its people were open-hearted, hospitable, and courageous. Rizal wrote a nationalistic essay entitled Amor Patrio, or in English, Love of Country. That was his first article written on Spain's soil. He sent this article to his friend in Manila, Basilio Teodoro Moran, who was a publisher of Diaryong Tagalog, the first Manila bilingual newspaper. Isinulat niya ito gamit ng kanyang alias na Laong Laan na siyang inimprenta sa Diaryong Tagalog noong August 20, 1882, and it was published in two texts. One is for the Spanish language and the other one is for the Tagalog language. The Spanish text was the one originally written by Rizal in Barcelona. On the other hand, the Tagalog text was a translation made by Marcelo H. Del Pilar. In this poem, Rizal urged his compatriots to love their motherland, which is the Philippines. Rizal moves to Madrid. While Rizal was in Barcelona, he received sad news about the cholera that was ravaging Manila and the provinces. According to Pasiano's letter dated September 15, 1882, many people had died and more were dying daily. At isa na nga sa mga naging biktima nito ay ang kanyang aya o yaya. Another sad news from the Philippines was the chatty letter of Chenggoy recounting the unhappiness of Leonor Rivera. Leonor way back then was getting thinner because of the absence of loved ones. On May 26, 1882, ang nakasaad sa liham ni Pasyano na kailangan niyang tapusin o kailangan ni Rizal na tapusin ang medisina sa Madrid. Kaya mula sa Barcelona, tumulak si Rizal papuntang Madrid, which is the capital of Spain, to continue his studies. Life in Madrid On November 3, 1882, Rizal enrolled in the Universidad Central de Madrid. Central University of Madrid in two courses, Medicine and Philosophy and Letters. Aside from his heavy studies in university, he studied painting and sculpture in the Academy of Fine Arts of San Fernando, took lessons in French, German, and English under private instructors. He also practiced fencing and shooting. He visited art galleries, museums, read books in order to broaden his cultural background. Rizal led a Spartan life in Madrid. He budgeted his money and time and he never wasted or he never wasted his money for gambling, for wine and even for women. And in Madrid, Rizal also tried his luck in lottery. Romance with Consuelo Ortiga y Perez Being a lonely young man in a foreign country, he was attracted by Consuelo's beauty and he even composed a lonely poem entitled A la Señorita C.O.E.P. Nakilala ni Rizal si Consuelo dahil sa ama nito. Ang ama ni Consuelo ang dating mayor ng Manila na naging vice president ng Council of the Philippines in the Ministry of Colonies. Rizal was not a handsome man. No? In physic, he was neither dashing nor imposing, for he was a shy, small man, but he possessed an aura 
of charisma due to his talents and noble character, which made him lovely, or which made him um, handsome, or should I say attractive to romantic young women. Before his romance with Consuelo could blossom into serious affair, he suddenly backed out for two reasons. Number one, he was still engaged to Leonor Rivera. And number two, his friend co-worker in the propaganda movement, Eduardo de Lete, was madly in love with Consuelo. They asked me for verses. In 1882, shortly after his arrival in Madrid, Rizal joined the Circulo Hispano-Filipino or Hispano-Philippine Circle, a society of Spaniards and Filipinos. Upon the request of the members of this society, he wrote a poem entitled Me Piden Versos, or in English, they ask me for verses. In this sad, in this sad poem, he poured out the cry of his agonizing heart. Rizal's first visit to Paris, 1883. First summer vacation in Madrid and he went to Paris. And like ordinary tourists or guests whose main interest in visiting foreign countries is to see the beautiful sights or to enjoy themselves in nightclubs and theaters and to shop for souvenir items, hindi ganoon ang pakay ni Jose Rizal. Nandoon siya to observe their customs, their government, even their, their traditions. Pumunta siya sa mga museums, galleries, hospitals, at marami pa siyang mga ginawang makabuluhang bagay in visiting the Paris. And that's it for this video. I hope that you learned something from our lesson. Before we end this video, I would like you to um, comment below the three interesting facts you've learned from our discussion. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more lessons to learn. Bye!